reporter Ashley Portillo joins us live tonight at Recovery Works and Jeffco. And Ashley, that's just one of the organizations that still needs some help. And Karen, it certainly is. Now, earlier today, I was speaking with volunteers and people who are actually going to be helping out overnight, Monday into Tuesday night, as that point in time count is happening across Jefferson County. They also told me that this count is so important because the need has grown tremendously just over the past year. And then we have the socks. Chantel and Carla work year round at Recovery Works with the unhoused population, but they know Monday will be the most important night of the year and they'll be staying up overnight. We're going to provide food, some type of activities, do raffles and give them incentives for taking the survey. Not only will they be surveying guests sleeping at Recovery Works overnight, they'll also be helping other volunteers. We get them set up with uh, the bags that have been created with the socks, the hand warmers, the water bottles, the food. The two say data collected from the last count in Jefferson County was alarming. The total number of homeless in the county increased by 73% from 2022 to 2023. And overall, Jefferson County also had the largest percentage increase in homeless in the metro region. It actually kind of breaks my heart. Chantel said the count gives organizations a look at where the need is. It also helps with federal funding. So when we have the data that we need, then it's able, it makes it able for us to be able to provide the services, right? Um, we don't want to be underfunded. The two also added it's a labor of love and they're looking for compassionate volunteers. So what we're looking for is just really um, someone that has that compassion, not judgmental. People that are willing to understand that homelessness doesn't just look like one situation. And the need for volunteers isn't just here in Jefferson County. In fact, help is needed really all across the Front Range. So volunteers who are interested in volunteering their time and looking to help do still have time to um, help out come Monday into Tuesday in your county. For now, reporting live in Lakewood, I'm Ashley Portillo covering Colorado First.